YouTube and Weezin to Snakes family. Um, we're here late tonight because we're bringing you another corn snake update. We have just gotten our second clutch of the season for corn snakes. And the Proud Dad is our very, very first snake we ever owned. Um, he is a blood red um, corn snake. Right now he's in very, very deep blue. So he, he looks pink. Um, but he is our very, very first snake that we ever owned. Um, he actually went missing for two weeks in our house, and we found him. Um, so this is a very proud moment for us that he is going to be a dad. He did the job right away, which I was surprised. No dadding in his, his methods. Um, we did pair him with a reverse Okatik girl. I'm not surprised he did his job quickly. Yeah. He's, he's a, a big boy. He's a dude. <laughs> he's a big boy. But we paired him with this lovely girl. She is a reverse Okatee. And she's actually a pretty big girl herself. Get her, her little humidity box open here. Um, we purchased her this year as a proven breeder. I think she's done because she's been laying here for a while with them. Yeah. And this is mom. She's a reverse Okatee. She's very pretty. And I know I don't have my lights on for y'all to see her very well. She's a very pretty girl. She's uh, definitely all done. Just like with all our snakes, we like to try to get a weight on all of them. She's still a pretty thick girl. For, uh, I don't know if she'll let me do this. Probably in that tub. Then you gotta reset it. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, if I can get her right down in there. And she is 353 grams. And I'm just gonna put her back right here in her little home. You can take those out, and I'll take the box back. And see the yeah. Sure there wasn't another one in there somewhere. They love, they love this box all year round, to be honest with you. They lay in it. Alright, let me get her lid back on. Don't lose her. Alright. So, we have all good eggs with this one. There is two, four, six. Eight, ten, eleven. We have eleven. So, and I don't know if these are gonna come apart because I think she was just like the other one was laying these starting in the morning. Cause she did not have these yesterday when we were in here. Look with the ones with little little stucks. And you could stick this whole batch in there just like it is. I like to separate them so that they all get good contact with the, the perlite. And there's the first one. These are all really nice looking eggs. But she was a proven breeder. I think he even said um, that she will lay sometimes twice a year. These are really big ones too. I feel like here lately, every time we walk in this room, somebody else is uh, laying eggs, which is usually how it goes when the season really starts to kick off. It's okay by me. <laughs> it's kind of nice. This is last year we only had one clutch of corn snake eggs. This year this is be our second. 
We have a lot of pairings actually this year for corn snakes. Um, one of my ones that I'm really excited about is the scaleless, which we um, just pulled those eggs the other day. You probably have already seen the video. Um, our next that I'm hoping to get will be palmettos. Um, <laughs> Makes a little pillow bed. Some of these, I'm not sure about. I'm really iffy about if how hard I have to pull. If I have to pull too hard, I don't want to do it. We've experienced teared eggs before, and we have patched them, and had luck with patching. Some of these are stuck in like big sections. Not little sections. Big. Pretty one right there. Like, you know how long that one is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, like, we were saying, if you want to see, like, here's comparison, like, my finger. It's like half my finger. This It's pretty long. But I guess we can't use my fingers as comparison because I have children hands. <laughs> and if I can at least get one more off of this. They're stuck in like long, long sections, not yeah. any small sections. <clears throat> I just want to get this so like those can probably go just like that. Because see how they're stuck in long sections? Yeah. And I get really paranoid if I have to rift too much. I just want them laying flat in the uh in the perlite. So if I can at least get one more detached from this group, thanks honey. This is the process that can take a while trying to peel these because you want to just be oh so gentle. They have that adhesive and that adhesive can tear. A lot of people think when they're pulling you're ripping the egg but I know that's hard to see. That's really actually just the adhesive that was attaching these two. Um, so it's not really damaging the egg too much but you got to be careful because it can pull more egg than you want. Oh that one right off this one's stuck to the finger Let's see I wasn't expecting anything very exciting with this pairing this was just his paired for his first clutch to see if he was capable of it and finger right in the center <laughs> and he is he wasted no time locking with her so we definitely know that he is a good breeding male um, I'm still excited looking for all these these are really big nice clutch of eggs Thank you for joining us it is late tonight it's been a long day for all of us um so thank you for watching uh, make sure you please like share subscribe like i said we are going to probably at this time be posting a lot of videos so make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time we uh, post a new video and he'll be posting them for you <laughs> and what do you say honey see you next time